But what happens when plates move towards each other? Volcanoes like Merapi in Indonesia are caused by the collision of oceanic and continental plates along what is known as a destructive margin. Over millions of years, heavier oceanic plate is being forced down under the lighter continental plate, creating a trench. Carrying water and debris with it, the oceanic plate breaks up under immense pressure. As it's forced down, it gets hotter and hotter due to friction and because the temperature rises rapidly towards the Earth's centre. Eventually it melts and the molten magma rises to form volcanoes some distance from the trench. Sometimes a row of these volcanoes can form an island like Java. Millions of years of eruptions have made the country very mountainous and fertile. These volcanoes release ash and rocks that break down quickly into soil, producing new supplies of the minerals plants use to grow. This makes the land very productive. Living in the shadow of Merapi is dangerous. The volcano often erupts. In 1994, it claimed the lives of more than 60 people. So what happens within the volcano to make it erupt? Molten magma from below the Earth's crust pushes up into the mountain. This causes tremors, which can be measured by seismometers. And tilt meters can actually detect how much the mountain is bulging as it fills with magma. This is thick, like porridge, and when it reaches the surface, it solidifies into a hot, crumbly plug. Pressure on the magma builds up and bits fall off all the time. The plug, or dome, gets too big and top-heavy. Eventually, it's forced apart. Gas boils out and foaming magma rushes up. Shattered rocks and steam form a huge and heavy cloud that soon falls back to earth, crashing down the mountain like a bulldozer. It's grey on the outside where it's cooled, but inside are red-hot gas, sand and exploding rocks. The cloud drops vast quantities of boulders and ash over the surrounding land, but when it rains there's a new danger. Water mixes with ash into a heavy mud flow, covering fields and villages, powerful enough to carry huge boulders along with it. 